said he's making a breakfast burrito. How are you gonna make a breakfast burrito? Check it out. First ingredient is a piadina romagnola. So piadina, egg, and cheese. Sounds like a good yeah, breakfast a burrito. Oh, this is the final result. Not yet? Not final, just getting started. Hello, everyone. What's up, everybody? Let's go. Today we have a special guest. Do you remember Chris, Brian's twin? He's here. He's back. And today we're about to go out, see a new little town that you will love, I think. Today I want to talk about his second experience in Italy with my family, with Italian people, with Italian food, all the things that still surprise him and the things that he got used to. Let's have a quick lunch. So now that I'm cooking, one thing that I can immediately start saying is that last time Cristino came to Italy, he couldn't really eat much. So everybody was like, he doesn't eat anything because he couldn't finish meals. This is a little crooked, but it's okay. But this time, it's totally different. What this time I'm a hungry boy, I like to eat food. I think he really prepared for this trip. What's your favorite food this time? Lasagna, tortellini, pizza, everything's been good. And your favorite treat? My favorite treat, the leche. Kinder Delis! Delis! That was my favorite when I was a kid. Oh, he eats oh. like two Kinder Delis a day. Maybe three. It's okay. They're good. It's okay. So, Cristino, I know you don't like questions, but what? I, I know you don't like questions, but what's one thing that you're not surprised about anymore? I'm or not surprised how long it takes to find a parking spot. It doesn't surprise me. I'm used to it at this point. I Sadly. came to Italy and I just knew that it would be hard to find a parking spot no matter where we go in Rome. So I expected that this time around. Sadly. And there's that's still such like a sad been a thing, lot like of that's trash mean. and graffiti, but I expected that to just because I don't know Say how something it nice. changed. But I also expected the food to be good. Okay. And the food was good. I expected to have good hospitality and it's been tremendous. <laughs> and I expected to come out here and spend a lot of time with my fam. And that's what we've been doing. Yo, if you still ain't subscribed to Sonia Candy, subscribe What now. are you doing? We're leaving. First, we're going to my aunt's place with my little cousin, and then we're going to Civita di Bagnoreggio. Hey yo. It's a beautiful views. day. We're about to see really nice views. Okay, so I'll get back. at my aunt's house and apparently the coolest thing is that they had just gotten a new kitty and Brian loves cats he's a cat person what a turn off it's like no I just think they're cute if I married you anyways Hi. Ciao. my aunt uncle and cousin don't live too close to where I live but I still manage to see them pretty often I'd say like maybe once or twice a month at least So guys, I don't particularly find this little thing too cute, but I'm showing you for the vlog. Because I know a lot of you guys do. And because Brian likes it. And Chris. <laughs> I don't know. Something doesn't click. One thing we were saying is that Cristina now can speak Italian way better than last time. Come stai? Come va? Buongiorno, buonasera. A lot, of, a lot of things. How do you say very beautiful? Molto bellissima. Molto bene. Prego. And more. Like, 
I swear, I think go, most of the time question. he knows what we're talking about. Maybe he doesn't understand, of course, every sentence, but I'd say that you understand the topic. When everybody was ready, and let me tell you, my aunt's family is really slow, we left to go to Divita di Vonioreggio. I gotta say, again, Sonia is looking good today. It's like, yes. But yeah, we're in Civita di Bagnoreggio. Actually, no, we're in Bagnoreggio now. We're going to the old part of the city. One more thing. Ciao. You started eating a lot of Italian food in America after your first trip in Italy, great. right? Yep, a lot of cheese and meats. And good. Then it slowly, eventually died off, but. When I get back this time, I'll start incorporating more Italian foods into my meals. Okay. I know. Dab. A cool thing about Civita di Bagnoreggio is that you can only reach it through that bridge that you see there. Unless you live there or you have special needs, you better start walking. This is your first time here. Yeah. Do you like it? What do you think? This is... Oh. I'm a proud Italian. She is, trust me. What's good? What First up, impression? So? Love it. Beautiful. Sonia, your followers are dying to know. What okay. country is more beautiful, Italy or Japan? They're both very beautiful in different ways. I cannot choose. She can't give that answer. We need a definitive I answer. I can't give you an answer. There's nothing worse than not giving a real answer. Why don't you give them an answer? Italy. Wow, thank you. More beautiful? That's obvious. It's Italy, but there's some things Japan's better at. But beauty? Italy. That's a smart Sonia answer. Sonia didn't even give y'all that. That's she a hates smart on Italy. Answer. I don't. What's up, YouTube? Today was a blast. We're up at Cavite. We're up at Cavite. And it's amazing. Cavati? What's it? Cavita. Civita. Civita. There's like a relaxing kind of vibe. Right now we're just really chilling, enjoying the view, enjoying the day. Tranquilo. Estoy tranquilo. Espanol. After walking around, we decided to go and have dinner at a local place. But to get there, it was like a one hour drive and the road was a little bit... That car ride made me a little car sick because I'm not used to all the hilly, windy roads. But this food is really going to hit the spot. For dinner, we decided to go for some carbs like pasta and pizza because we were all very hungry. Dinner was good. We had appetizers, bruschetta. Oh, that's so something interesting uh, happened. So I was talking to my aunt and we were talking for like 10 minutes and Chris looked at us and he was like, in Italy, you talk so much. I could never do that. That's true. After dinner, we were all very tired and we decided to just go home. We're all here and we're all tired. So, hi little girl. Hi, little girl. <laughs> She's so pretty. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Subscribe the vlog. Bye. Bianca, say goodbye. Can you say goodbye. Salute. Yo, if you still ain't subscribed to Sonia Candy, subscribe. What now. are you doing?